tell you a little bit about the Lincoln. It's a 1973 Lincoln Continental Mark IV. That's a two-door. It's got a hood that's like seven feet long, kind of a short deck in the back. My dad used to have all those Lincolns. I want to tell you, this is called the wind system. I'm going to turn it down. I went up to Las Vegas last year for a conference, and I brought my little handheld. The H, we call them HTs, that one on there on the left. And uh, I can access the Las Vegas repeaters or talk simplex with it. And first night I was there, I talked to a couple of hands who said, you got to program the wind system in your radio, the, the, the frequency for it. So I did. Um, it's the Western internet network reflector for ham radio. It's basically ham radios linked all over the western United States and it was really neat to have on the HT while I was up there because I didn't have the uh, HF radios or anything like that but I can hear you know talk to people from all over the United States using my handheld and that's called the wind system. Well I can't access that down here for my radio and if I can I don't know how digital type stuff is not my mode but uh, I'm pretty sure I couldn't anyway but anyway I found where it's linked on the internet to streaming audio and I'm listening to it right now live which is kind of fun because now, now it gives me one other thing I can listen to while I'm at home it was a signature series See? it was an awesome car you guys are on, it to my sister. They're on there talking about cars I used to go on the uh, what's it called and you can't sleep. Insomniac's net on the Western Reflector when I was out there. Because I was on a weird time zone difference. So that's on here too. Now I can listen to it on here. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to be going to Las Vegas in a couple of weeks. I'll bring my HT with me and be able to hook into it and be able to talk on it. But it's kind of neat to be able to listen to it down here on the internet. Plus use, you know, listen to HF and then I got all the all the local stuff. I mean, got everything now. It's kind of fun. So even right now, there's guys talking on it. You know what's fun is if you get on here with the radio and you say, can I get a demonstration, please? People who are what we call sandbagging, like I'm doing right now, just listening in, they'll get on there and call their call sign. Like I'll say, November 5, X-Ray Tango, Charlie, Brownsville, Texas. Next guy will get on, give his call sign, Reno, Nevada. And those those things can go on for like five or ten minutes of people keying up and saying their call sign and where they're at. So you realize how far ranging this wind system is and how many people are out there listening. I'll try to make a YouTube of it when I get up there. I'll do a, I'll ask for a... Big wheels on the back and stuff, but just for show. But I never got around to it, never got a chance. Anyway, I was heartbroken. I'm going to make this into a, a cooking video as well. I'm in here boiling chicken for Patchy, because all she can have is chicken and rice for the, I don't know, probably tomorrow and the next day. Let me turn the light on. And what I did last time was I made chicken soup out of the broth that I used to boil the chicken, and that's what I'm going to do this time. So I got a half a pot here. I've already got... Look at this. These are all chopped and ready to go. A whole onion, bag of carrots, celery, and all that's going to go into here. And garlic. There's the garlic. It's all going to go into here with some other spices and a bay leaf and some salt. And we'll make a pretty good chicken soup out of the broth. Did that the other day and I, boy, I enjoyed the hell out of the soup so I'm making a little bigger pot this time. Probably could add more water because that gets pretty pretty tasty there. Got four chicken breasts in here and about a half pot of water, not even a half pot. And that's pretty tasty when you add all the vegetables and everything. So She can only have chicken and white rice so I have to boil it for her. So I might as well use the water, right? And I have good water. This is uh, spring water. I don't use tap water. So this is a cooking wind system video. Now we're clear.